In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a vibration sensor by using an analog voltmeter. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. You can buy a vibration sensor module for less than $1, and I have one of them here. As you can see, the green LED lights up when I shake or knock the module. This sensor has a spring inside. When you shake it, the spring contacts with the wire in the middle. So it sends the vibration by this mechanism. However, the problem here that this sensor sometimes stuck and the green LED stay on. I try to adjust the sensitivity or even using the module in different directions, but it's still not working well. So I start to thinking about using an analog voltmeter as a vibration sensor. I have this voltmeter that can measure in up to 300 volt. First, I remove the diode and resistor from the inside, and just use a piece of wire instead. If you apply a voltage to the voltmeter, the needle starts to move in. We can reverse this process, I mean by moving the needle, we can generate some voltage. However, the voltage as you can see here, is just a few millivolts. So we need an op amp to detect this low voltage. I'm using ICCA3140 as a comparator. This IC has a very high gain when no feedback used. The voltmeter connected to the non-inverting input. And a reference voltage connected to the inverting input. This reference voltage coming from the voltage drop across a diode which is something around 0.7 volt. Then a resistive voltage divider converted to few millivolts. When you shake the voltmeter, it generates some voltage, so the voltage on non-inverting input will be higher than the voltage on inverting input. In that case, the output of the op-amp switched on the LED and the buzzer. After converting this circuit to PCB, I ordered it from PCBWay.com. I received it after 10 days, then I soldered the components on the PCB. As you can see, the circuit working well. You can adjust the sensitivity by using this potentiometer. I know this circuit is much bigger than the traditional vibration sensor, but at least it does not stuck unlike the old one. And also my circuit could be an educational project. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.